Let's take a look at greatest common factors, or GCF. What is the greatest common factor of 6 and 4? All right, so let's break this word down. First, let's just look at the factor parts. Factors are numbers that when you multiply them together, give you this number as your answer. So if I want to come up with factors of 6, that would be things that multiply out to give me 6. So for example, I could say 1 times 6, right? That gives me 6. So 1 and 6 are factors of 6. I could also say 2 times 3, right? That also gives me 6. So the factors of, of 6 would be 1, 2, 3, and 6. If I wanted to look at the factors of 4, well, to get 4, I could, of course, say 1 times 4. Or I could also say 2 times 2. So the numbers that go into 4 or the numbers that 4 is going to divide evenly by are 1, 2, and 4. Okay, so common factors are factors that are common to both, right? So for example, they both have factors of 1 and 2. So 1 and 2 are both common factors. Now greatest means the biggest. So the greatest common factor means out of those factors that were in both, 1 and 2, which number is the biggest? Well, 2 was the biggest number that was in a factor of both of those. So we would say the GCF, or the greatest common factor, is 2. What is the greatest common factor of 9 and 10? Okay, well, let's look at the factors of 9. To get to 9, I could say 1 times 9, or I could say 3 times 3. That's it. For my factors of 10, right, those are my factors of 9. My factors of 10, I could either say 1 times 10 or 5 times 2. So notice the only common factor they have is 1. So 1 would be the GCF. What is the greatest common factor of 8 and 5? Okay, well, the factors, or the numbers that go into 8, let's see. We could say 1 times 8, or we could say 4 times 2. Okay, so 1, 2, 4, and 8 are all factors. For 5, 5 is a prime number. And that vocabulary word prime means the only factors are 1 and itself. Right? The only way to get 5 is 1 times 5. So the greatest common factor, and actually the only common factor, for 8 and 5 would be 1. What is the greatest common factor of 3 and 2? Okay, well, same idea here. 3 and 2 are both prime numbers, right? That means the only way to multiply to 3, with whole numbers anyway, is 3 times 1. And the only way to get 2 is to say 2 times 1. So the only common factor, which is also our greatest common factor here, would be 1. What is the greatest common factor of 7 and 9? Okay, well my factors of 7, the only set of factors I have is 1 times 7, right? That means it's a prime number. For 9, I could say 1 times 9, or I could say 3 times 3. So the only common factor is 1. That's going to be my GCF. What is the greatest common factor of 10 and 8? All right, well, for 10, I could say 1 times 10, or I could say 2 times 5. So my factors are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Now to get to 8, I could say 1 times 8, or I could say 4 times 2. So my factors are 1, 2, 4, and 8. So notice they have two common factors, 1 and 2. We only want to know the greatest one. Well, the greatest common factor would be 2. Okay, and usually to save ourselves saying greatest common factor, we just say GCF. What is the greatest common factor of 9 and 8? Okay, well, to get 9, we could say 1 times 9 or 3 times 3. That's it. So our, our factors would be 1, 3, and 9. 
To get eight, we can say one times eight, or we could say two times four. So our factors would be one, two, four, and eight. So the only common factor, which would also be our greatest common factor here, would be one. Okay, same question again. We already said that was one. What is the greatest common factor of three and nine? Okay, well three is a prime number, right? The only factors are one and three. Now for nine, I can say one times nine, or I can say three times three. So three and nine have two common factors, one and three. So the greatest common factor is three. What is the greatest common factor of six and eight? Okay, well for six, I could say one times six or two times three. For eight, I could say one times eight or four times two. So notice they have common factors one and two, so the greatest or biggest common factor is two.